Welcome back here, everyone. Last year, NASA and its partners launched the James Webb Space Telescope. We've been telling you a lot about this recently, the next generation of great space observatories. Well, now it has settled into orbit and fully functional, so it's first observations we've been seeing here in real time. Yeah, these are incredible images that we're getting from, what, more than 4 billion years mm. ago. So here to talk about what these beautiful images are, we have NASA scientist Elena Sabi. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me here. It's so great to have you because we've all been really fascinated mm -hmm. by what we're looking at. The images are so beautiful. Uh, you know, these specks of color and brightness. Describe to us, if we could, if you could, uh, what we're seeing by that James Webb Space Telescope. With pleasure. So uh, we decided to show what will be the main areas that Webb is going to revolutionize in the coming years. And so we are looking at a very deep field where we can see the first galaxies that formed. And then we moved closer to us and we started to explore a region of star formation, the Carina Nebula, where you can see how stars are eroding and modifying the gas and dust. And at the same time, we can see baby stars emerging from this little stellar na uh, nursery. And then we can also see how stars uh, end up their life exploding in these beautiful rings of dust and colors as they become uh, uh, white dwarfs. And finally, we were very, very curious to see how powerful web can be in understanding the atmosphere of exoplanets. And so we couldn't resist going and look at one of the first images to the atmosphere of a giant gas uh, planet that is orbiting around the it starts, and we were so amazed to be able to see water in the first spectrum we got from Webb. Oh. And then, uh, uh, it, yeah. yes, we will continue to work it's, like that. It's, it's quite mesmerizing. I mean, you could just stare at these images. It's incredible. Um, when you take your, your scientist cap off um, as just a human on planet Earth, and you look at these images, um, what is your thoughts seeing these, and, and what does it kind of tell us as humans? I think that every time I see these images, I can't, uh, I, I remain breathtaking. It's so beautiful and mesmerizing. And it's incredible that we can so look at in such detail to objects that are so far away. Light mm -hmm. traveled for billions of years from some of these galaxies. It took 13 billion years to arrive to us, mm -hmm. and it's really telling the story of our universe as it evolves and grows. Wow. And there is so much to explore. Yeah. yeah, it took 13 billion years for light to travel to get those wow. images. I think that part is really hard for me to wrap my head around. Uh, if you could describe with that telescope, I mean, what kind of zoom does it have to get such clear, <laughs> really clear? I mean, it's incredible. How does that even happen? How are we able to see this? We we plan to do that. We worked very hard to do that. And still, until we saw the first images, we couldn't believe it. Actually, mm -hmm. the telescope, under many aspects, is doing even better than what we hoped. So really, as soon as we started to see the first images that were not in color and right. yet we were all just without, we were all speechless, simply speechless. The, so this web telescope, uh, just so you know, Elena, we're watching video of it uh, right now. That's what's airing. I mean, it's gold plated. Describe just what some of the qualities are of this that really do uh, even shock you as a scientist. I think that this is uh, the biggest telescope we've launched so far. And uh, it's an incredible uh, experiment in physics. You. You study all these things when you're young and you think they're even boring to study. And then you can see that you really have to tune them amazingly to be able to see such a perfect instrument, such a perfect details. But the sun shield that is protecting the telescope from the light of the sun is as big as a tennis court. And even the, the mirror, it's uh, as high as three tall basketball, play basketball <laughs> players. So it's really huge. And we were able to pack it in a rocket and shoot it one million miles away, farther than the moon, and then we can control it in such a tremendous detail. Mm, wow. it, I don't know. Yeah. It, for me, it's totally shocking. We saw some comparisons to the Hubble telescope and how much further it can yeah. see. What other advancements does the James Webb have over that? So James Webb is an infrared telescope, so it can see a different type of light. Stars and galaxies are emitting a broad range of colors, 
with our eyes and with the Hubble, we can see a portion of those colors. And with web, we can see another part of those colors. All these colors are the footprint, the signature of specific physical phenomena that are happening in the universe. And we want to see all the colors of the universe because this is how we can understand really the evolution of the universe, the formation of the stars, the formation of planets, how waters arrived on Earth. All these pieces of information, we can finally achieve them because we have Hubble and Webb working together. Mm. This has been a dream yeah. that we dreamt for 30 years and we finally have it. <laughs> the dream that's come true that we are all really enjoying right now. Yes, we are. <laughs> I think it's great to see so many people into this. Uh, it's awesome. It makes us feel teeny, 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 yeah. tiny, uh, which is actually good for sometimes people to realize that yeah. we are. Elena, thanks for being on with us. I thank mean, you for I, having me. It's been a pleasure. Thanks again, Elena, for that fascinating insight. Yeah. Uh,